Hello, I'm just going to share this uh, video now of a, a recent health testimony that I've just had. So basically, um, I'm going to get straight into it. So I've, I've been praying for my um, someone close to me for a long while. I'm not going to say who it is. And um, I'm really seeking God, asking God to save this person. And then, um, so anyway, the other night I was praying again, like I always do. And um, I prayed and I um, went to sleep. And then I fell asleep, right? And then it, in, I, I had this dream. And um, in the dream, you had the person in question. There was myself, the person in question, and my mom was in this dream. And then I was saying to the person in question, um, you know, you need to believe in God, you know, don't be so stubborn, yeah, because hell is real. And, you know, you, you don't you don't, you don't, don't want to realise when you die that I'm telling the truth and go tell them. My mum was there backing me up as well in the dream and she was saying, yeah, you know, try to get this person to believe. And then he just wasn't having it, yeah. And then the, the dream switched and it's sort of like, I ended up, it, I was in this really dark, scary place. It was like, it was just it, like a... It was difficult to describe it, it was like a dirty, dusty, wide road. And it was like going down. And then I noticed the person in question was like, he was just standing in this place. But I, I was like, was able to see a close up on his face, on the person's face. And the person just looked like a little child, but he had a baseball bat in his hand. And he had um, some nails in his hand as well. And it, it, it was like, God showed me. Because I seen his face and he looked like a little child, yeah. And I believe God, this is how God sees us, you know, like his children that are lost. But anyway, he's um, walking at his place and then he said, "Are we going to play baseball?" And then when he said that, yeah, and there was like this demon, demonic creature there. It was horrible. And then it spoke, and it's this is exactly how it spoke, right? And it said, um, when he said that, he said, "Are we going to have a game of baseball?" And this this voice spoke and said. I'm sorry, you can't do that down here. And then it went, I'm going to beat you and beat you and beat you. And it was the most horrendously scariest, horrible voice you've ever heard. It absolutely scared the living daylights out of me. And then, um, you know, I just I just woke up. And, I, and I, when I woke up, right, I was literally shaking with fear. It was, it was like when someone jumps out and you're like, boo, you know, and scares you it were like that times a hundred and it just were just it was just heightened i were at this heightened state of fear because i literally just like being in hell and it was just it was just horrible i felt the fear and this the, the torment what people must feel when they go there and it, it was just horrible yeah and so then um in in that moment i i began to well i woke my wife up got her to pray because i was shaking for quite a while and then i got my wife to pray for me and then I started praying and um, I saw a, in straight away I had a vision and I saw like a, a warning light flashing in my eyes. And then I saw um, like a Lego house that had been built. And then I saw this giant wave come in and smash this Lego out to smithereens and it was completely just obliterated in, in this wave. And then I was asking God, like, what does this mean? What does this mean? And God showed me that um, it's pride and ego that's the reason, one, the main reasons why people don't come to God because of pride, because they, they feel like they're good and they've got ego, they might have done good things in their life and all this sort of stuff, and they just cling to that rather than humbling themselves and repenting. You know, this, this people can be stubborn, prideful and egotistical, and that stops them from coming to God, it blocks them. So God was showing me this. So I believe that was God showing me what to pray for for this person. So since then I've been praying, trying to tear down that them strongholds over the person's life. So, but yeah, this this was just a, a really powerful, scary hell testimony. And I just want to anyone here out there watching this video, I just I want you to know that you know God is real. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, and uh, hell is real. Heaven's real. Angels are real. Demons are real. And um, you know if you know just seek God with all your heart. And um, ask God to humble yourself, you know, get rid of your pride, your ego, humble yourself, admit that you've sinned, because we've all sinned, we all fall short of the glory of God. And so you admit to sinning and you ask God to, to reveal himself to you, you ask him to forgive you, get, forgive his sin, and ask him to come into your life and to to come in and, and reveal himself to you. And, you know, read read the Bible, it'll tell you everything you need to know in there. 
And, um, you know, I promise you, if you seek God with all your heart, you'll find him. You know, the Bible says, whoever knocks, Jesus said, whoever knocks will find, where the door will be opened, and whoever seeks will find. He said, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So call on the name of Jesus Christ. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to forgive you. He's paid on the cross with his life for your sin. And he's real. And so I just, I just pray for whoever's watching this right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and I pray that God would reveal himself to you and that you would know that, that Jesus is real. And I pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.